Hello everyone, I'm Danger Gen Vex and welcome back to another episode of Really Random. The three words for this week, as randomly selected from your suggestions, are Peak, Yacht, and Blood. From these three words, our random blog topic generator gave us these options. And from these options, you voted for the following winner. I'll be very, very honest with you. I wasn't sure how I was going to approach this topic, so I decided to have a bit of fun with it. That's why we are going to look at why we love blood from different points of view both from fantastical myth um, fantastical points of view to mythological points of view and then realistic points of view as well which means naturally you have to start with the fantastical vampires love blood because it's their food you everybody knows that any vampire worth his salt or at least any non-sparkling non over dramatic vampire worth his salt loves blood they don't drink you know some sort of derivative or goodness knows what they need drink blood they need blood it is their way to survive more than that depending on what blood they drink for example in some vampire stories like Anne Rice's novels if a vampire drinks the blood of an ancient vampire a much older and stronger vampire they become stronger as well and they also gain some of the memories and the experience of the vampires whose blood they've drunk so vampires love blood because it's their food it's a way to get stronger that's pretty much that for them. In a lot of books, mythologies and stories, witches love blood as well. Witches love blood because that is, they use it in rituals and spells and potions to make it more potent. As an example, in the Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters movie, the witches used blood the blood of children to be more specific to make a very potent potion that would grant them the power to resist fire um, and it's it's usually in a lot of, of you know fantastical mythologies in which mythologies that blood magic is usually very very potent magic it's also considered a very dark magic and very few only the the worst witches usually use blood magic and other witch mythologies it's used for very powerful protection spells but that's why witches love blood it gives them power it gives them resistance it makes their magic stronger speaking of movies and games for that matter movie producers gamers and moviegoers love blood why i'm not exactly sure maybe it's the contrast maybe it's just the gore factor but there's kill bull for example and they used liters and liters of blood in that film more than was necessary but for some reason it really works maybe they love blood because it's used as shock chum you know, so that you can lure a gigantic shark so you can take a one in a million shot at the gas tank in its mouth to make it explode if you love Jaws. And there are mods specifically made for games so that when you cleave your enemy in half, the blood spatter is more realistic or at least more dramatic and noticeable. Maybe it's just for the satisfaction factor. I'm not sure, I don't usually use those mods, but I have to admit I've seen some of them in use and that slow motion, you know, blood everywhere effect does kind of look cool. So that's why movies, gamers, games, movie makers, movie goers, that's why they love blood. Someone else from mythologies who loved blood? The ancient gods. There were so many ancient cultures that had blood sacrifice as part of their mythology and their worship. The gods needed the blood 
who knows why, it's never really explained, but they required blood, blood sacrifices, perhaps for a good harvest, for good fortune, perhaps for, you know, giving, you know, watching over the humans, perhaps just for, you know, we are your gods, we demand some kind of payment and blood is the only thing that you can give us, so please sacrifice some humans and animals for us. Or maybe it was just a way for those ancient mythological gods to get a good laugh at the gullibility of humans. Now we can look at some of the real reasons or you know reasons in real life why we love blood. The most obvious example would be it keeps us alive. This is our blood. Without blood we would not be able to live. That is why we donate blood. That is why blood banks are always looking for blood because if something happens to you and you're bleeding out it's tickets. You need blood to survive. So that is why most of us, including me, love blood, especially my own blood and the blood of donors who would, in case of an emergency, keep me alive. Because it is our life source. Life is blood, blood is life. And this is not even from a vampiric sense, although now I can see kind of where they get their thing from. Aside from keeping us alive, you'd be surprised how many places, cultures, etc. love blood for very specific uses. If you want to go way, way back, a lot of old cultures used, at least cave painting cultures, uh, they used blood, specifically animal blood, to, uh, you know, give the paint a red pigment. So a lot of cave paintings actually have animal blood in them to give them that red pigment that they use. Believe it or not, a lot of currently existing cultures also still use blood as a food source. Mostly, if we are, not mostly, but mainly aside from cannibals, mainly animal blood but in Finland for example it's used uh, significantly um, there are places in Africa where it's significantly used in fact there are, there are a lot of places on earth that it's used South America a lot of the Commonwealth countries have like blood sausages and and blood pie um, they even have I think it's black pudding like a blood pudding that they have which I would never eat but they have that some of the other countries that have it is Asia, have like a blood tofu, and the Maasai in Africa actually drink cow blood and some kind of animal blood. Now, blood is actually extremely nutritious and it has a lot of the vitamins and minerals that, you know, you need. So it's understandable that they eat, that, eat it or consume it or use it in their foods and in their cooking but I just don't quite see the appetizing factor here. If you live in Japan, another reason you might love blood is because according to a lot of people in Japan, your blood type determines your personality. So it might make things easier to find a suitable partner. You know, somebody who matches your personality because of their blood type or, you know, help you find the right job. I don't know, use it like an astrological chart, I guess. They are so set on what they believe about blood type personalities that a lot of marketing is specifically directed at people and their blood types. So maybe that's the reason why some Japanese people love blood. Believe it or not, but blood, specifically the blood of the horseshoe crab, has a medicinal use and it must have saved many, many lives. You see, Doctors and researchers discovered that the blood of the horseshoe crab can actually find out or be used to test whether or not medicines have toxins or whether um, medicines are contaminated. So using that blood uh, or a, a derivative made from the horseshoe crab's blood, they can determine whether or not medicine is still good to be used. So if your medicine is uncontaminated and doing its job, more than likely the blood of the horseshoe crab has been tested to make sure that you won't get poisoned by the very medicine that's supposed to keep you healthy. Last but not least, and here's a good kicker for you, there was an architect in Britain who discovered that he can make bricks from cow's blood. So if your dream is to build the most haunted house ever 
just replace cow's blood with human blood. I'm not sure how you're going to get it, but there you go. Just, you know, use the right kind of blood and you can fulfill your dreams and build the most haunted house ever. It won't change the fact that you're living in a house made from blood bricks, but it works. His method works. So there you go. Might as well use it and, you know, good luck to you. But that does it for this episode of Really Random. And this really was one of the most random episodes we've ever done. But thank you guys so much for leaving me the suggestions and for voting for it. I found out a couple of interesting snippets, you know, myself, like the blood breaks and the horseshoe crab and a couple of others. But thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to leave me a like down below. Also remember to leave me three words down in the description or down in the comments so that I can use them to randomly pick three words for next week blog topics that we can talk about in really random. But thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.